up, guys? It's your boy, Icarus. Oh, and I'm sorry that you guys haven't heard this beautiful voice for so long. I really do apologize. But really, it's not. It's not that beautiful. Let's 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 get over ourselves, goblins. So yeah, no, lately, as I've said before, I've just been really busy. Usually I'd be on this shit like every day, all day, 24-7, like Goblins always does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! You guys know how I do. Except this week in particular, and like last week in particular, haven't been like... It, it hasn't really been one of those events, but like, things are shifting and moving in my life, and it's going super awesome. Uh, just to kind of like fill you guys in a little bit. Not that you probably really care to hear about my life. So I'll make it short. Uh, I'm going back to school, which is super awesome, and I found a new job, so that's pretty exciting as well. And uh, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm making some really cool new connections, and that's, that's pretty baller. Also, still have a new sponsorship that I'm waiting to go through, which will be sweet as well. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that shit. Today, 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 we're going to talk about the last weekly update. I, I really want to cover that stuff because it's really exciting. And as per usual, we're covering it over some Crucible content. Um, now, this wasn't my greatest game, but I just recently switched my button layout to Jumper to give it a shot. If you guys ever watch any Planet Destiny, they made a recent video called Top 5 Ways to Improve Your Target Acquisition. And uh, I wanted to try it out. They used the recommended Jumper for getting top target acquisition, and I, I figured I'd give it a shot. And it's it's kind of weird still, so I'm still kind of getting used to it because the bumper is the Jumper, and uh, it's, it's, a little, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit weird, but... Because I'm so used to Puppeteer. Anyways! Holy shit, now we're talking about <laughs> getting sidetracked. Just watch that video because it's really cool. I'll link it in the description. Those guys are awesome as well. Uh, anyways, we'll talk about that later. So, the weekly update, you guys. The weekly update. Oh my lordy lord. So, Luke Smith has some stuff to talk about in the weekly update. And that is that they're revamping the entire UI of quests and quest lines and all that stuff for Destiny. That's super, super cool looking. Now, it's going to look a little something like this now. You have an entire page dedicated to progress for your quests... And, and, and your exotic bounties and all that stuff. It's actually really quite interesting stuff. Like, it re looks really cool. Um, here's the second screenshot of it really quick. And this is really cool because not only are they revamping the entire way the system works for quests, they're also implementing some lore from the game. So a little bit of grimoire. And that is, that is a big, that's a big thing for, for Bungie. That's huge. Because we had to go to the grimoire to see, you know, anything lore related in regards to Destiny. Now that's kind of being implemented within the game and that's really fucking cool. As I've said multiple times before, if Grimoire was integrated in the game, I would actually give a shit a little bit more. Now don't get me wrong, I love reading the Grimoire, I love lo learning the lore of Destiny and everything, but it's just, it's that much easier when I'm, for example, in a loading screen reading the Grimoire and just kind of skimming through it and just having a grand old time learning about everything that is Destiny. So that's something they're actually implementing a little bit of, and it's really, really cool. As you guys, once again, can see in the screenshot. Um, I'm excited for that, for sure. Now that, of course, leads to the idea that we're probably going to get a little bit more inventory space, which is also really fucking cool. And I, I'm, I, I like that. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm excited to either have expanded inventory space or for it to look somewhat different or something like that. I don't know. It's going to be fucking cool. Now, this is patch 2.0. And apparently it's not only just going to include this, but multiple other updates that are to come, which Deej and Luke Smith will be talking about as they kind of come along within the week. So that's, that's really cool. As I like to call them, they're Taken King pre-patches. That's exactly what we're talking about right now. These are all pre-patches that are actually going to happen before the Taken King actually drops. So that's pretty cool. Now, one other thing I have yet to cover is the whole Triumph emblem. It's something that Bungie calls Moments of Triumph, and you get this badass fucking emblem. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. I want that. I really I really do. And this is for all those year one players that have braved all the bad shit from, of course, year one. We're talking like hard mode raids, uh, golden chests, all that crazy shit. So to get started, as of right now, today, you have approximately a month and 25 days left in order to get that triumph emblem. And here's what you gotta do to get it. First one, find all the golden chests. Second, Get a character to max level. Another of his course defeating Vault of Glass on hard mode. And Crota on hard mode as well. You've also got to capture Skolas in the Vex Citadel. Defeat Skolas in Prison of Elders on the hardest difficulty, which is level 35. Defeat Atheon on hard difficulty. Defeat Crota on hard difficulty. Complete 50 public events. And win 100 Crucible matches. That's all you gotta do to get this awesome emblem. Now, personally, I am missing out on the Skolas kill. I need to go fucking fuck his shit up. Yeah, yeah, in order to get her done. So, yeah. And unfortunately, I have to collect the golden chests. I, I, I really need to do that. That's like long overdue anyways. So yeah. Ah, Bungie coming with the cool ass shit. And once again, that is only a little bit of information from patch 2.0. Apparently, we've got lots of stuff to talk about, which is going to be really exciting to see it roll out over the couple of days or so. Well, hopefully a couple of days because then another weekly update will be out. But over a couple of weeks, I should say. 
considering Taken King drops on once again September 15th, which is also, also really fucking exciting. But let's be real, it should be out right now, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's like, that right, like today, you know what I'm saying? Today, okay? Yeah. And that's unfortunately all I got to talk about for today, guys. As per usual, thank all of you for your support very, very much. And as I always say, drop a like for your boy, Goblins, if you enjoyed the video. And I'll be back here with more Destiny content shortly, so take it easy, guys. Have a general good, and I'll see you guys then. Peace out!